And once again YouTube, um, today I'm gonna make another uh, setup video. So I will also say what I do on each PC and what its specs are of course. But first I'm just gonna more or less start here. So this is, the, by the way, the room is gonna change in a couple of weeks or something or a month. And then uh, I will make after that probably another video. And also sorry for the mess and the cables and everything. It's not the, I will do it all better when uh, the moving happens. But this is my TV setup. Normally, if I still had my Turtle Beach, which wouldn't bro have broken down, which is lying over there, I would be used, still be using this. But this is my TV setup. Um, it's an old 720p TV uh, for just watching movies and stuff. And behind it is an pretty old comeback here is a brother which i've taken parts out but i will say uh, we can uh, go after that uh, on to that after this uh, so this thing has an intel core 2 uh, intel i mean amd atlon sorry it's still early two gigab uh, gigabytes of ram no actually i believe three now because i just changed it with that pc stuff but uh, an old ati card i have uh, 4000 series I believe we have 512 megabytes of uh, VRAM Xbox 360 don't use that anymore now this used to have a core 2 quad but that has gone over to my workstation PC now there's an Intel Core 2 Duo uh, 2 gigs of RAM no hard drive on the moment also that thing has a 120 gigabyte hard drive not very big or anything but gets the job done for just watching TV and stuff also old dual socket HP um, ProLite um, motherboard bunch of PCs down there which mostly are empty but I'll go over them very quick this one has a Celeron D uh, I believe one gigabyte of RAM right now it's uh, on sale so uh, empty case another empty case Pentium 4 PC with also one gig of RAM I believe DDR1 both of them and after that behind that is a Pentium 3 PC old laptop isn't mine so I won't go over that now going over to these PC I use this one for uh, gaming uh, just watching YouTube videos that kind of stuff and this is a f pretty old HP monitor you might go ahead and say I need to upgrade which is true but I don't really have any reason to. I mean, it's working just fine. I, by the way, still play almost everything on Ultra with this PC. Games like Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, The Forest, I play on either Ultra or very high, I don't know right now. Um, a lot more games, I play a ton of games on this thing, GTA 5 on very high. So just for the ones wondering, it's specs are as an add-on. Uh, for 760k GTX 750Ti EVGA for the win edition with 2 gigs of VRAM uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM uh, 8 gigabytes of course I've mentioned 1600 MHZ RAM and 4 gigabytes of old RAM from that compact you might say like that is slow slow speed compared to the core circuit and that is true but I overclocked it a bit and it's working fine so and Sharkoon T28 uh, case yeah, if you look it up you get other cases mostly but this one is the T28 no green no nothing just the tweet T28 a cooler master CD on 120V CPU cooler got it for 60 euros so oh actually I believe 40 was a heck of a deal and it keeps it cool 30 degrees the AMD Athlon without overclocking as of yet I do that in the future don't know and you can barely see it but in a Corsair CX 750M modular power supply 80, uh, 80 bronze uh, efficiency it has the through hard drive with ASUS it has a 1.5 terabyte Samsung drive those are pretty old you can't actually find a heck of a lot of them anymore never had any problems with that thing thus far uh, 250 gigabyte 
boot drive for Windows 10, no SSD. Do have a SSD in this build though. Now, I don't know which brand it is from, but it's working. I've never had any problems with this. It, it still boots very fast, so why not? Uh, 640 gigabyte Western Digital Green hard drive. Uh, a lot of other as well, but I don't know uh, each of them. I use that for uh, videos. If I record, I put them on there and for video editing, which I used to do on this PC. And a 60 gigabyte Kingston SSD for Windows 7. So I have Windows 10 and Windows 7 both on here. Now for principles, I have a uh, Sharkoon Skitter Pro keyboard, also Sharkoon. I'm not a big fan of Sharkoon at all. I mean, this is a pretty okay keyboard for what I've used it for. Pretty quick response times, made with some pretty quality stuff as far as I've seen. But yeah, I just happened to buy this thing. Also a nice blue. Goes well with those lights, not with the front ones, because those are green. Those are Buddha Master Sickle Pro fans. Don't buy those, by the way. They're very loud, unless you don't care. A Nacom gaming mouse. Doesn't say much more on the box. Not a very special mouse, gets the job done also green. Uh, oh yeah, I also I forgot the motherboard, that's a Gigabyte F2A 8080X 3D3H. Something just opened the Windows 10 again. Uh, motherboard on this PC, so Logitech X140 speakers, those two. Also some old Sweet boxes, but you can't even get those anymore as far as I know, so don't know the number the name of those either. <coughs> as far as the webcam goes, I have a Microsoft HD 720p webcam, just some thing that I got bought at the media market. And HP LE 2201W monitor, 60 frames, uh, 60Hz, so nothing special. It has a resolution of 1680 by 1000. I keep wanting to say 5000, but it has 1050, so it's native 1080p. So again, 1680 by 1050. That's pretty much all the other areas. Also, it's a headphone. I hate how short this uh, cord is. These are some uh, Sony NDR T. Uh, 55s do have amazing uh, audio quality. So this is my workstation PC. Um, this is an NZXT Apollo case. Nothing really special about it. Pretty terrible cable management. You can actually see it. Also a Spire CPU cooler. Just gonna point it out. That thing is quiet as fuck, but you can actually hear it because the uh, one IPC is loud as fuck two the other fans in the system are louder it has an Intel Core 2 Quad Q8300 CPU it has 4 gigabytes of RAM, nothing special, just standard memory I think it's like it doesn't have any heat sinks, I don't know what it's from actually uh, a 500 gigabyte Toshiba boot drive a 1 terabyte Western Digital green drive a Asus P5 KC motherboard, uh, a ATI HD5080, I believe it is 5780, I believe, if I'm correct about that, I'm not sure. One gigabyte of GDDR5, a Quadro FX3700 for video editing, also use the ATI for video editing, but oh well. An old Western Digital Blue. 20 gigabyte hard drive which used to have Windows Vista on it but it's gone corrupt for whatever reason. A A open 450 watt power supply I believe and a hell of a lot of Molex connectors. So that's pretty much this system. I use it for as I said before video editing. Also two Yama Pro Lite E4300 no 431 S monitors. Okay, I've taken some water, I might sound a little bit better now, but as you can see those are the monitors, two of them, both 70 Hz, 720p monitors, nothing special. Um, Microsoft keyboard, I don't know the exact number out of my head, multimedia keys, pretty handy for 
workstation use. Old Logitech mouse I still have lying around. Nothing special, also nothing special about these two mice pads. Okay mouse mat, but nothing extreme. Also, uh, yeah, pretty shitty if you're using a shitty mouse. And I would uh, recommend something more like this, but this keeps gliding away. Annoying as fuck. Uh, let's just see. Uh, Sennheiser headphones. I can't actually seem to find the number. Pretty sure it used to say it on here somewhere. I believe these were like 504 headphones. Oh well, they're pretty old. One ear cup is also not working, so you might think like, why not just put one of those speakers sets over here? Well, I like having more speakers for my main computer. Okay, this is my gaming laptop. Uh, it's not really meant for hardcore gaming or anything, just some low-end gaming. It has an Intel Core 2 Duo uh, T5800, 4 GB DDR2 and an NVIDIA 9600 GS512 uh, MB video card. One thing I do love about this thing is that it lights back on on the back side, but that's not really anything special. It does have Dolby surround uh, speakers. I haven't actually listened to them a lot, but from what I've heard, they're pretty good. Um, yeah, normally I wouldn't, I really wouldn't uh, say like buy Acer. I didn't buy this Acer, I, bought I actually uh, traded it for two other crappy laptops. But I don't trust them. I still don't. But since this one was better than the other two crappy laptops I had are lying around, I took that one, this one. Now I use this for low-end gaming, like CS Go. Uh, I'm trying to kind of try Battlefield 3 on it, kind of see how that turns out. Probably crack, but anyhow. Uh, and Modern Warfare 3, I tried on it. No one's fine on that. Hi. So this is my school laptop. There's an i3 M370, so first uh, generation uh, i3, 3 gigabytes DDDR3, a 250 gb hard drive, actually no, I think that's a 320, and Intel integrated graphics, so nothing really special. So gaming, work, gaming, work, I guess. So two mode, uh, too portable for the same things as these two do, only on way lower numbers. Most proud of, I think, is that one in price slash performance ratio, because this thing only cost me around 230 euros to make, this entire thing. So yeah, I got some good deals on that. Now onto this, I've made this myself, not really anything special, but the most special part about it is you could feel it because I have made it very soft with, I don't, it's used for hanging headphones, my old Turtle Beach and my old Philips headphones, all both destroyed, not working anymore. As for in these drawers, just some random e electronic shit. And another keyboard. Also another box full of uh, computer parts. Also this desk is from IKEA. These two. This anti uh, wheelchair glide mat I guess is also from IKEA. This thing is from IKEA. Most of it is shit is from IKEA. And now onto my giant computer part shell. So let's just start at the bottom. This thing is also from IKEA. Just made it uh, so that I actually have sort of a room instead of just, I don't know, bigger room, I guess. So back down here is a uh, wall-mounted PC actually not working because the hard drive from that is into that PC. Uh, the old HP ProLine power supply the box in which my Quadro came in because I bought it used as well as the AMD GPU I bought that entire system used by the way but oh well boxes from my computer parts my HTC Windows 7 more 
new stuff. My old Xperia phone as well, also. And here's the more interesting part. HP Procure networking uh, switch. One gigabit switch, also one gigabit. Ether lines, also motherboard with Pentium 4. It's broken, just for show and stuff. A ReadyNAS 2100 with four terabyte of um, storage. One gigabyte of RAM, I believe, ECC memory, and uh, dual core, I believe, Xeon. These are all uh, Western Digital black hard drives, by the way. Also, a random heatsink from the uh, that used to be in that motherboard. Another uh, switch, I don't actually know from what company this is. It says baseline 2200. 2226 plus baseline switch. You can't actually read it because my camera is stupid zooming. This is a 128 gigabit, uh, gigabit I mean uh, MB switch, very old, not using it any uh, at the moment. Power brick. And now let's just go to the other side. So on this side is a whole lot of things. Also didn't mention the monitor, also a Yama monitor and keyboard and mouse from Logitech again. Keyboard is not HP keyboard, and this is my NAS, my self-made NAS, as you could have seen in the video. Also terrible uh, uh, lighting in that video, but oh well, also a random fan. Um, Cooler Master Power Supply and AMD Sempron 3200 2, 3, plus, single core. Um, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 2 gigabytes of Corsair RAM, you can't actually see it, but as it does have heat spreaders, also not bad scale management. ATL GL uh, card, you can see it in the video which one it actually is, and 2, like 2.3 terabytes of storage, 2, two 1 terabyte drives. One is in Western Digital Blue, I believe, and one is in uh, Toshiba, a smaller drive, and these are two IDA drives, one is 250, one is 80. I don't know the name of the motherboard, also in uh, this is case called actually a Nexus case. I don't know the exact model model of this case, but it does, does have phone sides. So doesn't, it isn't too loud, I barely even put it on. But yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.